Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm sharing with you the last puppy from the Diane Reevely's Dilusions Puppy Dog Tales stamp set that I've colored up. And I thought this hound dog looked so much like kind of a Egyptian uh, sarcophagus kind of image. So that's how I decided to color this up. So first of all, the body I decided to color up with a neutral gray first, and I'm just laying in where I think the shadows are going to be. I start with an N0 or maybe an N1 and here where I just want to lay in where I think the shadows are going to be. The lower part of the belly, where the arm pits kind of are of the puppy, the cast shadow from under the ears and chin the cast shadow from the lower part of the belly. I'm also coloring up the jowls on the sides of the face there with this neutral gray. And then I decide I want out a warmer tone so that it kind of looked like a cream rather than a cold gray. So it's a little bit of a beigey color. So I decided to try adding that warmth with an E40 and an E41. Super, super pale whites that are kind of in the warm beigey family. I realized I forgot to color up the top of the forehead and the little cheeks so I'm going back in with the neutral grays there and I'm laying in the shadows as well with the N2 and now I'm going back in with that warm E41 so that it creates a warm kind of creamy beigey color with gray undertones for the shadowed areas. Now I'm pausing here because I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to make the striped areas gold or kind of a brick red color. So I decided to go with gold because I really was thinking of those Egyptian sarcophagus images that I've seen at museums and whatnot. And so I thought I'd lay in a Y15 yellow base and then I'm going in with a darker kind of mustardy color, a Y26. And then for the highlight areas, I decide to go really pale with a Y00. And then I am bridging the two areas with that Y15 again. And this is a nice yellow, but I wanted it to be a little richer. So I'm going back in with a Y35. And I think that really warms it up more to go be better in keeping with the warm beige tones of the body. And then I realized I don't want to keep the muzzle area or the white area of the markings on the forehead just plain white. So I'm going back in and I realized I forgot that lower belly area. I thought at first I might just cut that out, but because of that side area um, of the body torso, I decided to go ahead and color that in too. And now I'm laying in the base color of those little boots that this cutie patootie is wearing. And I've laid in a base of E11 adding a little bit of shadowing with an E13 there. I want to make sure that the upper right areas of those boots really gets a highlight. So uh, I'm laying in that dark E07 as well. That's a light mahogany color. And I'm also coloring up the heart with the same color. I wanted it to be repeated and make the heart more of a red tone. And I think that light mahogany does that. And now I'm going back in and blending everything together so that there aren't kind of harsh lines between each color. And then I decide uh, I'm going to make the jowls that color too. Sometimes you see that on hound dogs where they've got like a brownish color where their jowls will be. And I'm going back in to reemphasize that E07, that darker color, because when I blend out, it kind of bleaches out the color of the darkest shades when you're doing blending between three colors like this. So I've reestablished that dark area. I'm also going to repeat the color around the eyes so that that uh, brick red color gets carried all the way up through the dog from the bottom to the top there. And I'm reemphasizing the white areas with a white gel pen, the highlights. I've also added highlight markings to that heart. And I'm going to add like a layer of red over top. This is a vermilion. And I think that that really brings the red tones a little bit brighter to be in better match or keeping with the gold tones around the ears and the legs and tail. And I'm going to just blend back out the lightest areas of those brick red boots 
uh, and the gels again with that light color. And that's the completed Copic coloring of this steampunk hound dog. I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys will stay tuned. Once I figure out what I'm going to do with all of these steampunk puppies, I'll come back and share that with you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day.